Wendy Stevenson, Programme Leader for the BA Honours Applied Music with the University of the Highlands and Islands, and I'm going to give you an overview of the degree programme and how it works. The BA Honours Applied Music degree programme is open to students with backgrounds in all musical genres and is aimed at musicians who wish to equip themselves with the skills, the knowledge and the practical experience to enable them to pursue a career in music and music related fields, be it performance, teaching, community music education, community music therapy, sound production, arts and music management. In a recent study conducted by the Hunter Centre for Entrepreneurship in Glasgow, applied music graduates scored highly in achieving employment in music and music related fields. The BA Applied Music degree programme provides an innovative approach to learning which is stimulating and offers variety and flexibility enabling students to study from their own homes and in their own communities using what is known as a blended learning model of delivery. Throughout the academic year you will study online with three to four video conferences per week. These video conferences are accessed using a software program called Jabber which is very similar to Skype and we provide students with this software at the very beginning of the degree. These video conferences behave similar to tutorials and um, they're very interactive and they're very stimulating. In your first year these video conferences are for subjects which focus on composition, contextual studies and a subject called remote digital music collaboration. Each week you will be set tasks which involve collaboration with your fellow students online to create compositions and to arrange music to blog, essay writing and recording tasks. Alongside this you will receive instrumental or vocal tuition on your principal study with a specialist instructor. These lessons are one-to-one -one and we're able to access some of the top practitioners throughout Scotland and will endeavour to match each student up with the best practitioner to suit their individual needs. This online and one-to-one -one tutoring is then complemented by four residencies which take place at a variety of locations throughout Scotland and at various points throughout the year. These intensive residentials, each lasting three to four days, are for many of our students the highlight of the academic year. They enable us to develop our community of practice, that is, to work face to face on projects developed throughout the programme, whilst exploring together the cultural and the musical and the educational assets that Scotland has to offer. Residentials involve concerts, performance, ensemble activity, compositional projects, recording, guest lectures from key personnel in the music industry and study support. You will gain credit for the activity on each residential and this is the reason why it is essential that all students attend these residentials. To give you an idea, this past year our first residency was held in September uh, in Inverness. Uh, the residency involved the development of a compositional project looking at uh, health and well-being and the role that uh, music can have in healing and we performed a concert at the Centre for Health Sciences at Ragmore. that's a very beautiful building. We also had a concert at the end of our residency in Inverness Cathedral. These were quite contrasting events. Um, students also attended the All Ness campus of North Highland College where we had a look at some of the software that we would be using in our remote digital music collaborations unit. We also had guest lectures from Creative Scotland and also from Face Ross and indeed from the Centre for Health Sciences. In November, we met at Dalgais in Perthshire 
and uh, we engaged in a recording project for an advert which was um, for the Visit Scotland Hebrides. Students had already been composing and collaborating online to produce music. We recorded with a top sound engineer from Chem19, a guy called Jim Nielsen. We also had Julie Fowlis, the Gaelic singer, artist in residence for the project Toper and Dolchus, which is an online archive of stories and song from uh, Scotland. It's actually one of the biggest archives of folklore. Students were preparing during this residency for the performance that we would then have in January as part of the Celtic Connections Festival. We also had Radio 4 who were making a programme about the Topra and Dolchus website, so several of our students were interviewed. In January, as I mentioned, we had a performance as part of the Celtic Connections Festival. We also had workshops from Live Music Now and also from musical creativity expert Mary Campbell. In April, students came to the Isle of Bambecula where we performed a concert, we met tradition bearers from the Uists and we were treated to a song workshop and symposium. We also started a new project, a composition for our next residency which will take place in September in Inverness and this composition is to be inspired by the landscape and the history of Uist. And uh, part of this research involved an archaeological walk around North Uist. Everyone enjoyed that very much. And the environment is a very important aspect, the musical, the cultural and the social environment, to informing our musical practice. Students gain credit for their ensemble activity at residencies and also throughout the year in their own local communities. Students are also supported by PATS, that is a personal academic tutor who is assigned at the beginning of the course. To engage in this course you will need to have some basic IT equipment, by that we're meaning mic, mic stand, some cables, an interface, a laptop or computer. With every unconditional offer made, we send out this IT list. The blended learning model that I have described, the video conference, the online, the face-to-face, -face, the residentials, run through the programme first year through fourth year. Students in their fourth year are required to produce a project or dissertation. You can see regular updates on our activities on our Facebook page, which is Applied Music UHI. You can apply through UCAS to study the BA Honours Applied Music. And when you are completing the application, you will be asked to identify your enrolling partner. That means which college you wish to be enrolled with. There are nine colleges from the University of the Highlands and Islands, 13 colleges, which are acting as enrolling partners. These are Lewis Castle College, Orkney College, Shetland College, West Highland College, North Highland College, Inverness College, Murray College, Argyle College, Perth College. As you may have realised, it is not vital that you attend your college. Uh, however, you may wish Instead of using your Jabber at home, you may wish to use video conference facilities at your enrolling partner, or you may wish to go to the college to access their library, or to meet with your PAT, that is your personal academic tutor. Some colleges have musical activities which you may wish to get involved with, or music specialists who you may have been introduced to at residencies. Library facilities are available online, and much of the reading material is available online. Entry requirements are hires A, B, B, and grade seven or equivalent on principal study, and grade five 
music theory. Mature students and applicants with equivalent experience will be considered. Entrance onto the BA Honours Applied Music is three stage. Stage one is the application. Stage two, upon request from us, is the submission of some recordings and of a personal statement. And stage three is an audition. If you wish to discuss any aspect of your application, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. Applied music at uhi.ac.uk.